quick tip is one of my favorite performers is flying around. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a real quick tip using one of my favorite deformers, the spline wrap. As you may have guessed, this bad boy allows us to wrap geometry or even another spline along a spline. I love using this tool, especially with tight work. Gets nice interweaving of the letters, which uh, creates nice visual depth in our final render. All right, let's get into this. Hey guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us. As you can see here, I'm just finishing off my path from uh, Photoshop. This is, a, this is a little tip I like to use when I want a specific outcome and my calligraphy skills might not be quite there. I'll use a font as a base. I will use that to create the basis of what I want my path to be. And once we finish that, we can just export that and we'll take that over to, uh, we'll take that over to uh, Cinema 4D. So since uh, Show Us Your Type is heading to uh, Buenos Aires next time, I thought that would be cool to use that as our base. If you don't know what Show Us Your Type is, I'll put a link down below. Go and check them out. They're, uh, they're doing some really cool stuff and I think you guys, you guys would like that. All right, sweet. So now that we've got this inside Cinema 4D, now we're going to make a start. But before we do that, I just want to give you the... I just want to give you a basic understanding of how the spline wrap actually works. So to do that, let's, uh, let's open up a new document and we'll do it inside here. I'm just going to use a cube to demonstrate this, uh, this technique for you guys. I'm just going to make it a little bit taller. And the only reason I'm doing this is because when you bring in the spline wrap, it defaults to that cubic size. So now if we grab that spline wrap and drop it straight beneath as a child of our cube, it'll now parent to that cube and it'll also uh, fit to its size. So I'm just going to show you guys how this works on a circle spline. But you can see we've got all these preset splines at the top here. I'm just going to pull down and grab us a circle to start with. So in our spline wrap, we've got this spline field. And if we put a spline into that, it'll wrap the geometry around that. And we can see I'm changing the axis here, but it doesn't quite look how we expect it to. So I'll put that back to plus X. We can see what's happening here. Our cube doesn't have enough geometry to wrap around this circle. So by increasing our subdivisions, we can see that we're now getting a nice smooth rotation around that circle spline. So when I turn the spline wrap off, you can see our cube is actually far smaller than what's been represented now. So if we change this mode to keep length, it'll keep the dimensions that we've got set uh, as our size of a cube. If we change these, we can get a very specific look if we didn't want it to completely wrap around the circle. In this case, we'll leave it fit the spline. So now that we've got this shape that we're pretty happy with, it's so easy just to, com just to drop in a completely different spline and we can get a completely different look. Now I'm using the helix here, so I'm just gonna give us a little bit more height just, just to separate those, those rings a little bit increase the subdivisions on our cube to get a smoother rotation. And so now we can play around with some of the tools within the spline wrap. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is that we can, we can edit this size. We can, we can change the size of this into any shape we like just by playing with the spline graph over in the editor. We can see by pulling down on the side here, we've now got a thinner end. We've, we've also got these sliders built into the spline wrap. And you can see just by pulling along, we're getting some great animation completely free. We could keyframe any one of these parameters and get a, and get a very unique look. So now that I've given you guys the basics, um, I hope you can see why I love this tool. It's so powerful, it's so easy to use, and we can create some, some really interesting looks really quickly. So let's go back to our main scene and we'll have a play here. So for this one, rather than the cube that we used before, I'm gonna use a capsule to uh, wrap along our text. Same as we did before, we'll grab our spline wrap, drop it as a child of our capsule, and we'll load our spline into the spline field. We can see it doesn't quite look right yet. I'm just editing our capsule a bit, giving it a bit more height, and I'm gonna increase our height segments. Now watch this, as we edit the axis of our spline wrap, you'll see it starts to be, it starts to look quite a bit smoother, but 
even as I increase these height segments to 300 or even 500, we're still getting some odd shapes on the ends of our text here. It's not quite smooth on the ends, which are which is a, an easy fix. Because we've got this fit to spline, it's now, it's now stretching our capsule so much. It's actually the caps that are forming the tips of our letters at both ends. By increasing the height and also giving us some more cap segments, we now get a smoother finish. I'm just gonna decrease our radius a bit just to get a shape that I'm a bit happier with. It doesn't quite look how we would like it to. It's not wrapping, it's not wrapping like we expect. It's, we want to avoid the intersection in this case. If I grab my point tool and I've got my spline selected, I can grab each of these points that we initially made in Photoshop and they're completely editable. I can rotate them, I can move them, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now there's no magic numbers here. This is just tweak to the eye. And all I can say is just constantly be moving around your object. You wanna see this from every different angle you can to get the best result possible. So all I'm doing here is working my way along the spline, grabbing each point, and just tweaking it a little bit to the last and making sure that it's looking seamless and we're getting a nice flow. As well as moving around your type in the display to, uh, to get the best result, you also wanna snap back to your initial camera just so it looks good from your final render point because this is ultimately what, we, what we're gonna be looking at. All right guys, so just keep working along your spine. I'm gonna fast forward this a bit. I think you guys have got the idea now. Just keep moving around your spine. That's the, that's the biggest piece of advice that I hope you can take away from this one. All right, so I'm just finishing up here. I'm happy with where the spline's at. We've got some nice depth and, and yeah, I think this is gonna work for us. All right, so let's jump, let's jump into the camera we've set. Let's turn on our spline wrap. Let's unhide our capsule and boom, have a look at that. This, this is starting to look like something we can use. Looks like a constant capsule and this is exactly what we want and I think that's looking really good. And we can still edit this spline while we're in this view just to get something we're a bit happier with. And you can see the top of our O's and even the end there, they're just, they're not looking real sharp and it's so easy to fix just by increasing our height segments on our capsule. And that's gonna give us a far smoother finish. And now what's really cool as just as we saw before, we've got complete control over these sliders and we can create some really nice animation just with a couple of simple keyframes and I think that's really neat. We've got complete control here and, and I think that's really cool. All right, thanks guys, just a quick tip for today. Hope you guys liked it, hope you could take something away from it. I love this tool and I hope you guys will too. All right, I'll see you guys next time, cheers. All right, thanks guys, I hope that simplified things a bit and uh, allows you to jump in and create some cool stuff. I'd love to see anything you do create, so share it with us and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks guys. Share it and create it, share it and create it. Ooh.